what is up everybody welcome back to real time i'm rob and i'm bryce and today we are back with episode eight of daisy jones and the six this one is called looks like we made it yeah i'm very interested to see how this episode is gonna go just because like the six is so out of whack right now i mean they're making the best music that they ever have but billy and daisy are completely like against each other right now so the tour is kind of like in jeopardy i mean last episode was literally all about how daisy went to greece and i'm just i'm just really interested to see like if this tour is gonna happen because obviously like we know she came back with a special someone but yeah like we we know that they still have like there's there's still gonna be a band like they still have shows to play they still have that big show like their final show that we need to see so i know that they're gonna at least be good on stage but i'm really interested to see just like what the dynamics are gonna be like behind the scenes yeah i feel like it's gonna be very weird seeing daisy come up or come back with this man especially after what has transpired with billy like the the tension they've had and I don't know. I, I wonder if this will stop them from being like that ever again, or I can see maybe them both being like, well, we're both cheating now, so let's do it. We'll see. I'm not too sure. I honestly thought by this point of the show, we would have got a lot more like touring and, and stuff like that, but I feel like we haven't even really seen the band together too much. It's just kind of been the build up. So, I mean, by the, t the title of the episode, looks like we made it. It's, I think I've said the past like four episode intros, like I hope this episode is them on tour, like just, this one should be though, right? This one feels like it should be the tour and hopefully very successful sold out shows. And I was just thinking too, because it's, it's going to be like probably pretty good with some drama. Then I think next episode is going to be very dramatic, a lot of arguing and stuff and then the breakup. But I'm hoping that you think at some point in the last episode we get to see any of them like rekindle in present day or no yeah i hope so that'd be really cool i think so. i feel i mean they're making a movie like a documentary or something so I i'd hope that they'd get together at some point all right guys well that is pretty much it before we do get into this episode if you have been liking these daisy jones and the six reactions make sure to leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description as well we have our patreon discord all of our social medias and our second channel and our po box make sure to check all those out and with all that being said, we're going to get right into this episode. Daisy Jones and the Six, Season 1, Episode 8. Looks like we made it. Let's go. We're so and I'm pretty sure that that's the picture of them arguing that Camilla took. I mean, there was still no trace of her anywhere. Some of us couldn't help but wonder if she was gone for good. And I think one of us was probably hoping for that. <laughs> Billy. Billy was open for that. And she's uh -oh. back. I was just trying to hold this thing together. And these are the songs that you want to sing. That's right. So, no regret me. I'd be pissed if I was Billy. Or anyone. I'd be like, you've been gone. Yeah, dude. You can't just walk in and be like, well, I'm going to change everything. Do you need a minute? No. Warren, count us in. Yeah, actually, we do. Oh, come on. She said I was a head case to Rolling Stone magazine. You told a journalist about me missing the birth of my daughter. So what? So what? Not so what. You can't just say so what. You made me look like I need you. So we both told the truth then. Mmm. Mm. They both frustrate me in very different ways. There's no tour without me, dumb son of a bitch. Oh. You're playing regret me. And look at us now. No. Yes. I said no, Daisy. Look at us now is your best song. What I meant. Oh, husband. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is such a mess. Managing the six had somehow become the hottest gig in town. Billy never forgot what I'd done for him back in 71, so when he called me up. I jumped at the chance. Yeah, he what he did always say, he's like, I'm the tour manager. You ever get a big tour? Call mm -hmm. me. I'm sorry, if she gets a suite, I got a suite too. On a separate floor. Oh, even better. When I get separate buses while you're at it. <laughs> Is that possible? There's no way 
the label's gonna sign off on any of this. And they did. They said yes to everything. <laughs> they got two buses. Wow. Okay, so they have like a few months left as a band, I think. I thought they split up in 78. Oh, was it? I, c I honestly can't remember, but that's what I remember in my head. Eddie, here comes the Eddie. Yep. Edster. You sure you don't want to come? Oh, yeah, it'd be so fun with a two and a half. Oh. Mm -hmm. I can't watch Camilla get hurt again, bro. I can't. Go be a rock star. Right. I'd be kind of like. I mean, last time I think he went on tour is when he was cheating. He, yeah, and he became a drug addict? Yeah. We were pretty sure Albuquerque would be a disaster. And they killed it. It was one of their best shows. But it was fantastic. That's just how they are, bro. They're all like, oh, we're gonna fuck up. We're gonna be terrible. And then they just make the best shit ever. It's a very uh, volatile way of doing it, though. Which I proves just, to be bad. I just want one of, like, I just want, like, Graham... Or like Warren. I feel like it would be best if it came from Warren. I just want him to be like, can you both just shut the fuck up and get along for one tour? God damn. The pettiness is crazy between these two. They're the best duo. They're the best. No, how could she? Why is he looking like that? I don't know. That's her That's husband. Weird. Hey, baby. Who's daddy? Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to bed. I'll call you tomorrow. I love you. Oh, it's gonna be so hard for him, bro. He doesn't have his family. And just everyone else is fucking doing drugs and drinking, partying. It's going to be impossible for him to resist. Honestly, the two bus idea was a yeah. fucking great idea. Imagine he was on that bus. This time is going to be different. This is Billy Duff. And I'm Daisy Jones, and you're listening to KAKC AM 970 Radio. I mean, this is the episode we were looking for, I think. Just, they're in their prime right now. Yeah, but they're not. They're not getting along. No, I don't know if they ever will. <laughs> Dude, Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> no. What Look was after that, him, Rod. Was it Probably. You gotta protect him, Rod. Zero to sixty in under five seconds. Top speed about one sixty-five. You know who drives one of these? Double O seven. So, pretty <laughs> nice car. You like it? It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. Her voice just gets me, man. It's fucking so good. Oh, I just had a vision. Hmm. We, like, kind of predicted that Teddy will die. Yeah. What if he dies in, like, the car accident? Or a car accident? That'd be sad. Look at Eddie up there. Yeah, the hell are you doing on the guitar, Eddie? Get back on the bass. Maybe he gets one song. Oh, wow. Bigger and bigger. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, is he saying it? I mean, they still have the chemistry on the stage. It's just that it's... Yeah, but as soon as it's over. I don't know, though. He knows that she... Uh, I, think how, I think he's just going to overthink, and then he's just going to fuck it up. But he knows she used to like Billy. Like, they spoke yeah. about that. I don't think that they like each other, Billy and Daisy. When you're in the room, 
You're not yourself. Or is she? More fun to miss than to be with. Who's that about? Oh, come on, man. They're just songs. <laughs> is that true, Daisy? No song is ever just a song. Oh, God, please. Let's not argue during the interview. Do you still think Daisy is a head case? <laughs> wow, this is bad. Why aren't you playing Look at Us Now on this tour? Well, it's, uh, it's a great song. We have lots of great songs, so we just needed to make room for the new That's song. That's not the reason. Oh, come on. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna grow the fuck up. Oh. I fucking know you, and you know I do. That's what fucking scares you, huh? You think I'm full of shit? I do. You think I'm full of shit? I do. Me, huh? What about you, huh? What about you and me? What about it? You're close. I know you too, Daisy. You don't know a goddamn thing. Look how close they are. I know what it looks like when you're in love with someone. Oh. Was he kind of going in there? Yeah, he was, totally. Seed planted, though. Seed planted. <gasps> Miss Camilla has arrived. She looks good. Yeah, she does, as always. <laughs> it's all fun and games right now. Surrounded by temptation. That's why he doesn't come out. I don't blame him. Oh no. No. <laughs> uh oh. Oh so Can we talk about what happened? <laughs> I, I would feel better, you know. I was confused and I was hurt, and you were there for me. You're always there for me. Can be there again. Mm. It's just never gonna happen again. Oh. They uh, did. They did the deed. Yeah. They did the deed. The Italians have an expression: "Say la mia anima gemella." You're my twin soul. And they're looking at each other. And he realizes. <laughs> he doesn't like Nikki, man. Oh, no. I don't think she likes Nikki either. Oh my god. I feel like they will not be good next time they see each other. That's a lot of food. Yeah, well, I know she didn't eat dinner last night or lunch for that matter. I like Rod. Yeah, he's a good guy. Good character. Oh, oh parents. mom and dad. Fuck them, dude. They literally moved away and didn't say anything <laughs> to her. Like, she doesn't owe them shit. I see you still like to watch. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I was the only one who seemed to notice something had changed. Uh oh. Oh, she looks rough. I think she. My, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Rod. Hey. Hey, Graham. No. Karen? Are you in a dude's now or something? I don't have to explain myself to you guys, alright? What, can they just not be together because they're all on the bus? They don't know about it. I, I know, but that's what I'm saying, is like, since they're on the bus, I like... I not into dudes. 
Oh. And his dick is <laughs> mm, she said, enough is enough. In the studio, in the car, on this bus. Oh. You guys have just been too up your own fucking asses to notice. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe me? Oh. <laughs> They're gonna go do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Graham. Look at him. <laughs> what a guy. Now they can just do it. Hell yeah. I don't want that. That's, I don't want that right now. Come on. Come on. Don't make me do it on my own. Bad influence. Bad, bad influence. I feel like he he can he's noticing something because I feel like he's like I've been through the experience of like letting the drugs get out of control so he can probably see the tells and the signs No, this is not going to be a good convo. She's never taken this much before. Don't pretend like you care. What the fuck does that mean? Uh-oh. This isn't about you or your marriage or whatever. I'm trying to get out of Get the don't fuck to touch me. Or what? I'll knock your fucking teeth out. Let's go, Billy. <laughs> Stand on that shit. You're nothing. And you'd be no one without her. I mean, that's just not true. He's literally a prince. Uh oh. <laughs> he said, nope. No, no, no. I didn't want to punch that royal prick since Tulsa. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody calm down. We still got a show to do. <laughs> Nikki got his ass beat. Yeah. That feedback she's the mic's doing. She's not even getting the words out clearly anymore. Bad. Is she gonna faint? Yep, she's falling down. Eddie's covering vocals. <laughs> You're not going back out there, Daisy. You're done. Do you hear them? You know when I'm done. Oh god. Oh, boy, man. Shouldn't be out here. Dude, look at us now. Yep, there it is. Baby, baby, baby. Who's gonna start playing first? Warren. Oh, Billy's not doing this shit. I think Eddie's gonna start playing. Are they all gonna start playing? That'd be bad. Ugh, just a fucking slippery slope here, guys. It's gonna be bad. Going down the slope. Like they're not gonna, they're not gonna stop until something happens to one of them. I could see him dying. What if he ODs or something? It's a fucking mutiny. You know, fuck this. Where are you going? I'm kicking her out of the band. Billy. <laughs> oh, come on, Billy. That's not possible. I'm the doctor. Everything's fine. Okay, she's fine. Look. No, 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 no. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Fucking fucking door. Daisy? Daisy? Oh, my God. She's ODing. She's not breathing, man. Daisy? What was he gonna do? Let her die? Is he gonna leave? Come on. 
Okay, he's leaving. What the fuck are you doing? I'm sorry. I, I can't be here, so... Um, yeah, that guy's a joke. Dead. Worst character in the whole show. Rod knows what to do. Alright, stay with me. Stay with me. Definitely not the first time he's dealt with this. Oh, her eyes are open. Whoa. It's you. Man. What a crazy ending to the episode, man. It's... Ugh, I feel so bad for Daisy, just in her current state. Just obviously going through similar things that Billy went through at the beginning of the show. And, I mean, I have my frustrations with her for other th reasons, but, like, I just, it sucks seeing someone go through that and then getting, like, almost enabled by someone who you thought, like, cared about you and loved you in Nikki. Like, Nikki was literally encouraging her to do more. So, I mean, just feel really bad for her in that sense. And then Nikki literally leaving during all of that going down. Just a joke of a man. Hope he is not in the show. <laughs> Can't imagine he, he's in the show anymore. Good riddance to Nikki. But uh, hopefully, now that this scare has happened, like I said, I literally said, like some, something needed to happen. Not needed, but they weren't going to stop until something happened to, to one of them. And unfortunately, it happened to Daisy. But um, hopefully, this will be a turning point for her in just like the substance area she just needs to get off that that stuff and get clean i guess yeah just be better for herself and for her band hopefully billy can be there to support her because she definitely is going to need some support if billy didn't go to like kick her out of the band she would have literally died which is just insane so i'm very happy that happened and i think this it's weird because I feel like this will bring them closer and she'll realize that he's not this horrible guy, but also they break up very soon. So it's not like everything's going to fix itself. Maybe if this was like a few episodes earlier, it'd be really good for a while. But I feel like at this point in the show, two episodes left, it's not going to be good for that much longer. And honestly, I don't think their romance is necessarily over per se. I think they might have like a hookup or two before they split up just based off of i don't know certain things but i don't want to see it obviously because i love camilla that um, camilla secret's gonna come out yeah. that's definitely gonna be a big factor yeah. in the breakup i think i think um there could be, maybe be like a band argument or something and then eddie somehow eddie just throws it out there you know what i mean like just what i fucked your girl <laughs> yeah dude, like, <laughs> yeah. i fucked your girl <laughs> so yeah i mean i don't know i, I think i was I've been hoping for like a <laughs> like a good episode this whole show. It ain't happening. Like not a good episode, but like a peaceful, like vibing. We, we had a few earlier. Maybe when they were writing songs together or something. Yeah. Just having a good time. Yeah. But yeah. So, but I don't think that's going to happen due to how much or how little of the show is left. But I still hope we get like good shows. I think if she gets back on track here... I could see them performing that that song together and just crushing it but ultimately they have that that final performance and then it just ends so i'm sure there's a gonna be a big blow up and yeah i don't know i'm, I'm just excited to see what happens and, and how the band actually ends and if there's any closure at the end after this whole documentary thing all right guys so that is pretty much it for this episode if you have been liking all these daisy jones and the six reactions make sure to leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description as well we have our patreon discord all of our social medias our second channel and our po box make sure to check all those out and with all that being said we'll see you next time for daisy jones and the six episode nine peace out